position of the hands. Now the hands are going to go walk forward, take up the slack on the rope, hang forward into Uttanasana, or just all the way down. So you start to walk back as you maintain the extension on the rope. All the way back so the heels can go up to the up the wall. And then she's going to let the buttocks drop down, press the heels into the wall, the legs are very active, tailbone down, a little bit more. So it's assuming like an upward dog position, Bhujangasana, as which is not upward dog. Is Bhujangasana, this could be upward dog as well. Then you go to pike from the groin and go back up into Uttanasana and then swing forward. So getting the movement. Fluid, fluid movement through the shoulders, piking up again. And do two or three more of those there at a comfortable pace that you're not pressing, not dropping in the shoulders, not dropping into the back. So it's really important to keep your legs working, frontal thigh firmly on the bone, heels to the wall, tailbone long. In and out, so just warming up the shoulders if you're ready. One more. And then to come out, after you've gone back to your Uttanasana, start to walk your feet forward. Hold the ropes as you come up, so in case you're dizzy. And then let the ropes go. Now if you don't have ropes, another way that you can get this movement is by using a chair against the wall. Do you have a blanket on this? I'm going to use a blanket or a piece of mat. I'm going to use a blanket. So that the wall doesn't get wall doesn't get damaged. That's basically what that's for. And if it's not quite snug, it'll stop it. So the hand's going to place her hands onto the front near the arm of the chair, so the hand's less likely to slip. She's going to walk back. You pipe back. So you put your downward facing dog here, and she's going to swing through into upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So it's very similar. Up dog, down dog, or it is very similar to Jack Asana. Thanks. Shoulder blades externally. Shoulder blades are moving into the body. She walks feet back into a downward dog position. Pressing the hands in, even though you're holding, and pushing backwards to the buttocks, legs pressing back firmly. And then you come onto the ball of the foot, swing through. Elbows remain straight, tailbone down, externally rotating the arms so the shoulder blades move in. And exhale down. You can move this into a fluid movement again. Not so fast, you're out of control. And then in. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you go back. I'm going to get you to walk your feet in a little bit now and see how that works on you. Because your legs might get closer. If it's too strong, let me know. Okay, swinging through. Okay. More flexible, you can walk in a little bit more. And then there. And then exhale. If you're a little stiffer in the shoulders, keep well out. Okay, in, okay. and then out. And walk your feet in and just stay in Uttanasana for a moment. Okay, and then inhale coming up. 